Hello and welcome back to Utah Trikes. The Caltrek lineup is full of amazing trikes. Each model is built to cater to a variety of different riding styles, making sure that they have an option for you. In the Caltrek lineup, there are a lot of similarities between models though, and it can tend to be confusing. For example, the Caltrek Trail and the Caltrek 559. These are two trikes that have a lot in common. Their frames are similar, they both have folding capability, and most everything else on these trikes feels right off the other. But despite these similarities, these trikes are for two different riding styles, and there is a big inclusion on the 559 which makes all the difference. That is a 26 inch rear wheel instead of the Trail's 20 inch rear wheel. You wouldn't think a simple rear wheel change would make such a difference, but you'd be surprised what six more inches of wheel will do for you. To really find out the difference between these two trikes, stick around and let's get right into it. Before we discuss these few Caltrakes, we want to highlight one of our amazing customers in his custom-built quad. Paul has reached out to us with his story and how an auto wheelchair quad has changed his life for the better. Paul has been impaired for the last six years with the neuromuscular disease lambert eden myasthenic syndrome. This has made mobility difficult for Paul, especially at long distances. With an auto wheelchair rig, though, it has become his main mode of transportation for the better half of two years. He is taking great care of customizing his rig as well, tricking it out with a double battery for extra range and extended boom, remove the foot plates and fashion foot straps on the squared boom end, a custom seat back to help him stay upright with his muscle weakness. He even added seat braces on either side to help keep him upright on his off-road riding. Every morning, Paul heads out on a morning ride with his dog, Luna. Before he had his quad, his morning walks with Luna were a quarter of a mile on a good day. But with his not a wheelchair, it went from a quarter mile tops to up to nine mile roll and runs with Luna. Paul and Luna are both super happy with the not a wheelchair and he recommends it to everyone he meets. It has finally given him a way to get out on the mountain bike trails again, and not to mention to save money on gas in the car. Paul submitted his story to us through our weekly newsletter where we highlight a new trike writer every week. If you have a trike or quad story you want to tell, you can submit it to our newsletter with the link in the description below. And if you want to read the rest of Paul's story, he has so much more to say and more accessories to talk about in the article he wrote. The link to that and our, our newsletter will be in the description as well. Thank you so much again, Paul, and we hope that you and Luna can continue to ride together with your rig for years to come. Now with that, let's get back into the Caltrek Trail and the Caltrek 559. The Caltrek Trail was first introduced in 2007 and was advertised as being a recreation slash touring trike that was sized to be between the Caltrek Road and the Pocket. It was light, snappy, and perfect for the riders looking to get out and tear up some pavement. In 2014, the trail went through a design evolution and became the first Caltrek to have a folding mechanism. Folding for the Caltrek trail changed the game and revolutionized how riders can transport and store their trikes. Riders also got all of the benefits of folding without any compromises to frame integrity or riding performance. Following the success of the trail, Caltrek's next folding trike was based on the same frame as the trail, but with a 26 inch rear wheel. The 559 came out in 2015 through great anticipation. The 559 carried a lot of the same features as the Trail, such as the 30-speed gear, Avid BB7 front brakes, and a fully adjustable padded seat, but it does have one glaring difference, the 26-inch rear wheel. When going to order either a 559 or the Trail, you might be wondering what is gained or lost between the two models. Well, that's what we're going to be covering today, and by the end of the video, we'll help you be able to make a more educated purchase between these models. Taking a look at the detailed specifications for the 559 and the trail, we can see that the folded dimensions for the 559 are three inches longer and seven inches higher than the trail. Of course, this is because of the longer frame on the 559 and the 26 inch rear wheel. While the 20 inch wheel on the trail does much to save on space for the trike, what exactly is gained from going to the 26 inch wheel on the 559? A larger rear wheel, like the 26 inch wheel on the 559, is better at maintaining the speeds on flat ground and downhill slopes. This is because a larger wheel has greater inertia than a smaller wheel, but the acceleration on the rear wheel will take longer to get up to speed because of the larger wheel circumference. What that means is that you'll be able to pedal less for speed, but it will take you longer to get there. To get an idea of the types of speeds that we can achieve on the 559 on the trail, we can take our calculations to our favorite gear calculator, Sheldon Brown. The average rotations per minute for most cyclists is going to be anywhere from 60 to 85. So if you take that into the Sheldon Brown gear calculator with our rear wheel measurements for the 559 and the trail, we can determine our average speed at a 65 RPM cadence. 
Both the trail and the 5.5 mile have the same front and rear gearing, so we can plug in the 30 to 52 tooth front crank and a SRAM 11 to 36 tooth cassette into the calculator. And when we add the final ingredient, the rear wheel, we can start to see where the 26 inch wheel shines. In all cases, the 26 wheel is 3 to 5 miles per hour faster than the 20 inch wheel with average speeds on the low end from 3.9 miles per hour all the way to 21.9 miles per hour on the absolute high end of your gearing. Now that is crazy amounts of speed, and all of this without having to push outside of a normal RPM. Less effort for more effect over time is where the 559 excels, but it will take you longer to get to the crazy speeds some riders are looking for. One thing that should also be considered between trikes is the wheelbase difference between and how that can affect your riding. The wheelbase is the measurement from the middle of the front wheel on a trike to the middle of the rear wheel. This measurement is crucial for the balance in steering on a trike and on any wheeled vehicle. On the trail, the wheelbase is 39 inches, which is ideal for a trike that is meant to be quick, snappy, and good at cornering. When we look at the 559, the wheelbase is 44 inches, a whole 5 inches longer than the trail. On the 559, the longer wheelbase coupled with the 26 inch wheel makes for a cushier ride that better takes on uneven roads or slight off-road riding. However, the longer wheelbase does help with comfort in all-terrain riding, but when it comes to urban riding, you might want to consider a trike with a smaller wheelbase, and here's why. In the simplest terms, a larger wheelbase is going to mean a larger turning radius, and a larger turning radius is going to mean you're going to have to take wide turns. For most trike riders, it's understood that you're already going to have a larger turning radius than what's on a bike, but you can factor that in when you're riding. Looking again at the 559, we can see that it has a turning radius of 9 feet, which is very wide and makes cording on the trike difficult. In comparison, the trail has a turning radius of 8.25 feet, which is still fairly wide, but it should make a corner a lot better than the 559. Now, I've ridden a lot of trikes in my tenure here at Utah Trikes. I've ridden the trail and the 559, but never side by side. To test this, and what we've been talking about regarding wheelbase, 26 inch wheels, 20 inch wheels, I took these trikes out side by side to get a real feel for it. And here's what I found. I took the 559 out first for 10 minutes around the shop parking lot in our neighboring street. I immediately felt the low acceleration from the 559 and it took me upwards of two minutes to get to a comfortable speed. But once I did, it was smooth sailing. I didn't have to pedal any faster than I already was to maintain my speed and I could comfortably coast without any worries that it would be dramatically slowed down. When turning in the 559, it felt like I was turning too wide on most corners. And even in some cases that I was overshooting my turns, the wider turning radius did not ruin my ride, but it was something that I needed to account for. And once I did, the rest of my ride was much smoother. After my stint on the 559, I took the trail out and I rocketed out onto the pavement. The acceleration I felt from the 20 inch rear wheel was significantly greater than that on the 559s and I was able to get up to a comfortable riding speed much quicker. I did have to pedal constantly if I wanted to stay at a faster speed. As I rode, I had the trike lose speed quickly after any brief time of coasting. When I was taking turns, it felt I was able to take them quicker and tighter than the steering on the 559. Based on my ride, I would say that for long distance touring, the 559 would be the way to go due to the ease of maintaining speed and the comfort gained from the larger rear wheel being better at shock absorbance than the smaller 20 inch wheel. On the other hand, the trail is excellent for those looking for shorter cruising rides because of its quick initial acceleration and smaller turning radius, but it does not have a larger rear wheel, you're likely going to tire yourself out quickly, and that's certainly not ideal for those riders that like to go out for long rides. Between the 559 and the trail, I prefer the trail. When I go on a ride, I prefer a trike that is quicker initially and easier to corner. I'm by no means a long distance rider, so that's why I gravitate towards the trail. But if I was to ever go touring, I would most likely pick the 559 or similarly built trikes so that I wouldn't have to worry about exhausting myself during the tour. One other major difference between the trail and the 559 is the rear axle. In mid-2019, Catrike switched to a through axle hub for all of their 26-inch rear wheel models, including the 559. The main benefit of a through axle wheel includes the through axle being more durable than the quick-release rear wheel. This is an excellent option for those who like to take their trike off-road or on this maintain roads. This does limit the trike slightly in terms of gearing options. Currently, all the internally geared options that we carry require a quick-release axle compatible rear end. So the 559 in its base configuration is not compatible with any internally geared rear hub like the Roloff or the NVL Low. 
Luckily, we do offer con dropout conversion plates for all Catrack models so that the 559 can be easily modified to take a quick release for your wheel. I hope this video will help clear up any questions you may have had about the 559 and the trail. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you like the Versus style of video, let us know what tracks we should put in the ring against each other next time. Whether you're looking to enjoy a light ride or if you're looking to really tear up some payment on a long distance tour, Couch Trike and Utah Trikes have the trikes for you. Remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. Harold out. Do for you. We're fine. I didn't say anything. It's all good. What are we talking about? Namaste. Namaste. Not today, I've got my little katana sword. Get out of here, bro. I'm like a samurai or something. Oh my god, samurai, I say. Oh, with a 26 inch rear wheel. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, 26 inch. Ooh, it's so big. Freaking duh. <laughs> duh. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Oh my god. What's, what's wrong with me? I guess Cutler's getting pizza for everybody. <laughs> we can take our calculations to our favorite gear calculator. Sheldon Brown. The 559 came out in 2015, and that's it. That's all you get to know.